And now many people are getting creative with their pumpkin carving this time of year, but here's taking it to a whole new level. What about underwater pumpkin carving? In Key Largo, Florida, a pumpkin carving contest was held 30 feet underwater. Not only did the divers have to carve the pumpkin, but they had to keep it from floating away. That might be a challenge. 30 divers participated, and the winner carved a jack o' lantern with a grin and a retainer. First Alert Weather is brought to you by the Medical Center. What I'm wondering is, what did they do with all the pumpkin guts? Underwater, they just kind of this. Okay, they let that float away. Okie dokie. That's kind of scary to think about. 46 right now in Bowling Green. Some wet weather this morning, especially if you live east or southeast of Bowling Green. That's where the rain is still falling. The cold front. Is just about to make its way into the area, but ahead of it, pretty good coverage of rain from Columbia to Edmonton, down to Burksville, also down toward uh, Scottsville, Tompkinsville, Gamalia, all getting some rain this morning back towards Scottsville, and then southward as you head, say, toward Gallatin, Hendersonville, White House, Portland, Bethpage, Westmoreland, all getting showers this morning. But west of us, we're actually beginning to see some clearing taking place as the cold front comes in and the cooler temperatures. We're at 46 right now, but expect a drop in those temperatures before we warm back up and recover later this afternoon with some sunshine. Well, let's show you the temperatures we're projecting today for high temperatures around the Nolan River Lake area, which includes Litchfield. You'll see a high today of just 58 degrees, maybe 60 or around 60 for Brownsville and Edmondson County, and maybe 59 for Munfordville and Hart County. With that chance of showers this morning, but sunshine will return by the afternoon. And by the way, the Kentucky Lottery Powerball Jack Pot, now an estimated $216 million for the Wednesday night drawing, and the Mega Millions now at an estimated $55 million. We've picked up 13 hundredths of an inch of rain just this morning here at the Mezzanet site in Bowling Green, 14 hundredths in Munfordville, almost two tenths of an inch of rain, and it's still raining over in Columbia and Adair County and around the area. Averages about a tenth of an inch or two tenths or less. As far as the rain is concerned, and here's what I'm talking about: the temperatures starting to come down from northwest to southeast. 35 now in Hardinsburg as the skies have cleared up in Breckenridge County. 38 in Hartford, and then you see mid and upper 40s, even close to 50 degrees now with the rain coming down over in Burtsville in Cumberland County. Here is a live view from our weather cam. This is at Independence Bank, Scottsville Road, in front of the Bowling Green Airport, Greenwood Mall area, all wet streets this morning as folks uh, take the morning commute. Just slow down, take it easy as uh, things will dry up later today. 46 right now in Bowling Green, the wind's calm, humidity 95% and the barometer is falling. Here is the view from Munford you're at 44 degrees up in Hart County, and you've picked up 14 hundredths of an inch of rain this morning. You can see the wet streets around Russellville, 45 degrees. You picked up 12 hundredths of an inch of rain there in Logan County. And we're still getting raindrops in Franklin, 46 degrees. Currently, you've picked up almost a tenth of an inch of rain just this morning there in Simpson County. 47, the current temperature here. Look at the cooler, 30s, 32 now, the freezing mark in Indianapolis as the cold front is now pushing. Pushing its way right into South Central Kentucky. At the moment, we're 11 degrees warmer than yesterday at this hour, but you can see the big drops in temperature just west of that front. And here it comes 12 hour radar showing the line of showers making its way into the area. But you'll notice here we only get a brief break in the activity, and another round of showers now will be coming in from the northwest of us. This is that next disturbance that's going to make its way into the area late tonight, early tomorrow morning. So watch your you're seeing this morning, we're going to see over again tomorrow morning, although I think less of a chance of getting measurable rainfall. There could be maybe less than a tenth of an inch as this thing is going to travel more north of us, but it is going to reinforce the cooler air that we get today, even colder tomorrow as temperatures will struggle to get into the 50s as that much colder Arctic air settles in for a while. Clearing and cooler after the morning showers, near 60 today. Then for tonight, around 40 for an overnight low under a cloudy sky and that chance of a shower late tonight. Tomorrow, 
We're only going to make it up to 53 for a high temperature with a chance of a morning shower, then becoming sunny. 52 Thursday, a late day shower possible there with the end of that disturbance. But look at those nighttime lows, and that's what I'm concerned about here with frost and freeze potential starting tomorrow night. And especially Thursday and Friday nights, we could have our first hard freeze of the fall season.